This is going to be a MetaMask tutorial for those that are completely new to crypto. We're going to do the entire process step by step on the screen while you're watching me download MetaMask, set it up, and make the swaps. We have links down below to everything that we're going to talk about here, and the first one is to actually download the MetaMask Chrome extension. So you'll click a link down below and you'll get to MetaMask right here and you'll click download now. What this is going to do is put an actual extension on your Chrome browser. So when you click install right here, it's going to make sure that you want to add it to Chrome. You're going to click correct and say yes, I want it to be able to do stuff. And once it's done, you're actually going to see it inside of your browser. First though, we need to set up a seed phrase. Now if you aren't aware what a seed phrase is, a seed phrase is if you lose your computer or your computer breaks or something like that and you no longer have access to your MetaMask account, a seed phrase is what you will use to get back all the crypto that's in that MetaMask wallet. So this is very, very important that one, you don't let anyone else see this, and two, you write it down or put it somewhere secure so that if all else fails, you can always retrieve your lost crypto through this seed phrase. We're going to click right here where it says, yes, let's set up a seed phrase, and it's going to create a brand new wallet for you. You'll click I agree, and you'll make a password. Now, after you make your password, it's going to take you to the page where you're going to get your seed phrase. So you're going to click. I'm actually just going to show you guys and we'll blur it out here, but this is my seed phrase. It's just a bunch of random words that can be used to retrieve. It's essentially a password, but instead of using letters and numbers, you're using words. You're going to want to write down the seed phrase that you see right here on a piece of paper or somewhere because the next step, it's actually going to have you re-put these in so that it makes sure that you actually have these written down somewhere safely. So you can see here we've got join traffic and then we're going to click all the rest of them in the right order. And once you've done that, it sets up the MetaMask browser wallet for you and we say all done. And what we have here on the screen is our MetaMask wallet. Okay, and you'll see if you ever wanna access this extension, it's going to be right here. It'll either show up right here on the top or you'll need to click on this little puzzle piece looking thing and you'll click MetaMask. I'm actually gonna pin it so that it's always right here, that little puppy dog. Step two is going to be how we're going to fund our MetaMask account with crypto. You can technically buy inside of MetaMask. You can see right here, it gives you two options. I'm gonna tell you right now about 80 to 90% of the people that I talk to, this doesn't work. Most banks and credit cards and stuff just don't like crypto and don't let these transactions go through. So we're actually gonna to have to use an outside platform to fund MetaMask and then bring the crypto into MetaMask from there. So the platform that we're gonna to use to fund our MetaMask account is Coinbase. You probably have a Coinbase account if you've been in crypto for any amount of time, but if you're new to crypto, then you're going to want to set up a Coinbase account because I think almost everybody in crypto has at least one of these. Coinbase is essentially an online or it's a centralized exchange and wallet for you to store your crypto in, whereas MetaMask is more decentralized and you kind of have more ownership over it. So you're gonna click that link down below for the Coinbase. That'll take you to coinbase.com and you'll need to set up an account, okay? Next, you're gonna go into your account and you're gonna click on your picture in the top right. You're gonna go to settings. You're gonna go to payment methods add payment method, and you're gonna see an option for PayPal. Now you can set it up with any of these other methods, but if you choose any of these methods, it's actually gonna take five days for you to transfer the crypto. So you can buy crypto immediately, but then it'll take five days before Coinbase actually lets you move that crypto, and that's a security feature. But if you set it up with PayPal, which will be an option, I already have PayPal set up, that's why it's not an option here. If you set up with PayPal, you can move that crypto instantly, which is good. So you're gonna set up with PayPal and then you're gonna see this option right here where PayPal is now an option. Next, we're gonna to go to prices and what you wanna buy is Ethereum. And so the MetaMask browser extension is a Ethereum based wallet, okay? It can hold a lot of things, but Ethereum is kind of the uh, transfer medium. It's pretty much uses Ethereum to buy every other thing that it buys inside of that wallet. So we're gonna click trade on Ethereum right here and we're gonna select the number. We're gonna say we want $100 worth of Ethereum. And then you're gonna, oh, we need to go back here and we need to say we want to use PayPal for that. $100 of Ethereum with PayPal. Make sure yours looks just like that and then you'll click buy now. It'll only take about five seconds and you'll get an email that looks just like this one right here that lets you know that you now have that Ethereum available to you. So we're gonna go back to our Coinbase account and now we actually need to transfer that Ethereum to our MetaMask account. So we're gonna click right here where it says portfolio. You're gonna go find, if you're just starting, you're just gonna have Ethereum right there. So you're gonna go find your Ethereum and now we need the address, okay, the wallet address of our MetaMask account. So we're gonna go over and we're gonna find our MetaMask account right here. And you can see it's at the very top. It's got an address right there. All you've gotta do is click to copy it. We now have the address of our MetaMask account, which is based in Ethereum or ERC20. 
So we go back to here. Now I'm actually going to be sending it to my real normal MetaMask account because I have whitelisting set up in Coinbase so it won't let me send to any addresses that I haven't uh, whitelisted as uh, addresses of my own wallets. So I'm going to click right here. This is a little bit of a different address, but you'll put in your address of the one you copied. Then we'll click continue right here and it will send, in my case, I'm sending $50 worth of Ethereum. Once you're done, you'll get something on your screen that looks just like this and it says, hey, we've sent the Ethereum. It does take anywhere from like one to 10 minutes typically for this Ethereum to show up and there are some fees that are pretty much constantly changing for this to happen as well. So you're gonna hop over to your MetaMask and you're kind of just gonna sit and wait. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I already have money in my MetaMask account and so I'm not gonna sit and wait, but you'll sit and eventually you'll see your Ethereum balance go up. Once your Ethereum balance goes up, you now have Ethereum in your MetaMask account and you can use that to buy any of the other tokens that you typically hold in MetaMask. So if you're looking for any of the Shiba coins or any of those like uh, crappy coins that are popping out right now or even some of the more reputable ones that maybe aren't available on Coinbase and some of those main exchanges, this is where you're gonna do it. Now the last thing I'm gonna talk about is actually making the exchange, okay? So we know how to set up a MetaMask account, we know how to get money into our MetaMask account in the form of Ethereum, which is the money of MetaMask. And then lastly, we need to know how to make swaps. And to do that, we're actually gonna to go to a site called uniswap.org, and this is the third link down below. And we're gonna click use Uniswap right there. Now, Uniswap is just a decentralized exchange, okay? So this is essentially where someone comes and they say, hey, I've got some Ethereum, and I want some of any of these tokens. Who wants to swap? And it goes out and it finds someone that wants to swap and you make the swap, okay? And you pay a little exchange fee for that to happen. So right here you can see there's a pretty decent sized list of tokens, but if you're going for any of those really far out ones that no one else knows about and you're trying to get in on the beginning of some of these, typically it's not gonna be showing up right here. So instead you're going to need to get what's called a contract address, okay? And that just is the address of the contract of the token you're looking for. So whatever that token is or that cryptocurrency is, it's got a contract associated with it. Typically you can find it on CoinMarketCap. And I spelled that wrong right here, but it'll still show up. And there'll be a link down below to this as well. But all you've gotta do is make sure you've got the right contract address for the token that you're looking for. So for example, one of the big coins going around right now is Shiba Inu. So if you were trying to get Shiba Inu, you would click into here and right here is the contract address for Shiba Inu, okay? Now be careful, some people try to create fake accounts for these things and stuff like that, so if you can get this address from a reputable source, you definitely wanna do it. Uh, CoinMarketCap tends to be a, a pretty re reputable source, uh, or even the person who's recommending that you buy this. If you know them, you might wanna get it directly from them. But this is the contract address right here. We're gonna click Copy Address, and we now are copying the contract address of this token, okay? So we're gonna go back to our Uniswap interface. We're gonna click select token and we're actually gonna paste in this contract address. And it's gonna say, oh, this one right here? We'll say yes, okay? And it says, well, how much ether do you wanna exchange? And we're gonna say uh, 0.03 in this case, because I don't wanna spend very much on, I'm gonna save in 0.2. <laughs> okay, now for some of these small coins, you'll see this pop up. It says, can you, you can get a better price on the older version. And if that pops up, I usually click it and then we're all ready to go. It's gonna pre-fill this amount right here and we're gonna click swap. Now we're not quite done. We need to pay Uniswap and we need to make sure that our browser or our MetaMask wallet has permission to do this or gives permission to Uniswap to do this. So we'll click confirm swap. Now you can see right here, I've got this edit button, okay? You can see right here an edit button and this is where you can essentially choose how fast you want it to go and you can pay a little extra to have your transaction go faster. If you're buying a very small token, you probably want to do this because if you choose the slow option and essentially your, your transaction doesn't go through because it's not able to find any of those coins for the, the price that you're currently looking at, then it will, you'll still pay your fee here, but you won't actually get your coins. So it's not a great thing. You wanna go fast on, on those kind of other coins. So. You, uh, if you don't have this option right here, you'll wanna go into your MetaMask wallet. You'll click into it right here and you'll see that we've got uh, settings. Okay, and inside of your settings right here, we'll click advanced and we're gonna tell it that we want advanced gas controls right here. And that just means, hey, sometimes I wanna make a swap fast, not just the normal speed, just in case I'm trading something weird and it doesn't go through. So give yourself that option. The other thing you need to know about is this button right here. Okay, and that is an, a slippage adjustment. So once again, all this stuff is for those small coins, those weird little coins that most people don't know about. Sometimes the price goes crazy on those up and down and up and down. 
and you might put in your order expecting to get it at a price, uh, you know, get this much for that price, but because the price is moving so quickly with these small coins, you might not be able to get it at that price anymore. So you need to tell Uniswap, hey, I'm willing to take this much of a difference, okay? Meaning up to a 15% difference in price, I'm okay with. And for these big coins, these like small coins, you're gonna wanna do that. You're gonna wanna say 15, um, typically like 10 to 20%. Uh, and you can see I do 15. Anyway, once you set the slippage to 15 on these coins, you'll click swap. You can see I'm gonna click confirm swap and it's gonna go get permission from MetaMask. You're gonna choose your speed right here. And like I said, I typically choose fast. And then we'll click save and we'll click confirm. Now you can see here it's gonna submit the transaction and we can right click and open this up and we'll know when it's gone through or if it ever got stuck. You can see right here it's currently in pending. What you're gonna also wanna do is this. You're gonna to wanna to add it to your MetaMask wallet. What's gonna happen is it's going to move that over. It's gonna give you access to this Shiba coin, right? But MetaMask doesn't necessarily know to look for that coin and it's kind of a small random coin. And so we need to say, hey, keep an eye out for Shiba coin that I've added to my wallet, MetaMask, and you'll see that it's, that it's there. Uh, I'm not gonna do it because I've already got some Shiba in my wallet right there, but you'll just click add token. Now, once it goes through, you'll be able to scroll down just by clicking into your MetaMask account right here, and you'll be able to see all the tokens that you currently hold. You can see I currently hold quite a bit, or I have held quite a bit in the past, and one of those is Shiba right here, and I currently own $490 worth. You can always go back to this as well, the, the, the right click that we did there to see the transaction details, and you can wait for this pending to update. Typically, if it doesn't update after about 20 minutes, you're probably stuck in pending and that means your transaction was too slow. It wasn't able to fill that order that you made. Maybe your slippage was set to too low or maybe your speed was set to too slow and between those two, it wasn't able to fill the order. You still have to pay the fee and you didn't actually get the crypto that you were trying to buy. So just be aware of that. And that is how we use MetaMask. Now, before you run, I just want you to know if you're looking for a crypto channel that teaches you crypto without all the fluff and all the hype and all of that pizzazz, this is the channel for you. We teach down to earth basic crypto for beginners. So click subscribe and we'll keep learning.